So this is like the week of boat. <laughs> Lovely day. So that's the boathouse that we've been spending the last couple days in, just getting some work done. Um, and now Pablo is gonna drop us off at a cafe that's close to our boat launch to where we are gonna be on a ferry for two days on our way to Russia. We are currently in the ferry terminal. Peter just went to the grocery store to get some groceries because we're gonna be on the ferry for two days and like the food on the ferry is super expensive. It was 28 euros per person for dinner. I'm actually kind of a little bit nervous um, to go to Russia, but I know some, this is something that Peter has like really wanted to do and like really wanted to go. Um, and so we figured out a way and I will share more about that. And we're off. The guy was really funny he was checking our passports. Um, he checked mine, he's like, okay, you can go, but he's staying. And I was like, no, he's coming with me. I'm not walking through until he's good. He was laughing and having a good time. I'll show you our home for the next two days. There it is. Wow, we didn't know our church MSC had a cruise ship. And here we are. Oh, it smells like smoke. It says non-smoking. It smells terrible in here. Like really strong smoke and the bathroom is even worse. We're gonna go and see if there's any way we can get a different room because I don't think I can be in here. It's such a confined space. The receptionist is really helpful. So what's happening is that the two floors exactly above us is where um, they can they can smoke and since the air conditioning and the flow is not on right now because the ship's not moving um, that's why we're smelling it so as soon as the ship starts moving it should be fine she said if it's not then just come back four o'clock and we're finally going to eat lunch so this is actually our lunch and dinner look at our feast Swedish ladybug here. On your butt? Yeah, it's true. It wasn't my leg. It's doing quick. On my hip. Peter, we're so excited about his Swedish ladybug. I don't mind. I would like to keep all my fingers. <laughs> it's crazy. She didn't really want to. And then the guy's like, no, we gotta get a picture. Oh. Instant. Headache when I walked in here. Peter, how bad does this bathroom smell? The worst thing I've ever smelled. I mean, it's worse than if someone was smoking in front of you and blowing it in your face. The hole above, you can smoke, but I didn't smell it until we got in, in right outside of our door. So I really think someone had smoked in this room. Um, so we are going to get changed. I seriously like, want to vomit. That was how bad it smells. I know there's not smell of vision so you have no idea. We'll send you a scratch and sniff. We're switching rooms. This is not Royal Caribbean. Yeah, no, and I wasn't expecting like a Royal Caribbean. Like it has our own bathroom. Like that, to me, that's awesome. Um, but I just want the bathroom to actually be somewhere I can actually be in. I tried, guys. I really did. We're getting a tour of the ship, and it's pretty big. Different restaurants and game places. <laughs> Welcome to the cinema. Я не ситуацию. Настоятельно рекомендую внимательно ее прослушать. Просим не трогать спасательный инвентарь. No, he knew more languages than English. Right, we're down to the spa. One of my sister's friends from college is super passionate about St. Petersburg, and so she just thought, hey, I'll just reach out and see if he has any recommendations uh, for Lisa and Peter as they're traveling. And sure enough, he did. It was amazing. He sent us like boom, boom, boom on Facebook, like with so many links and all this stuff. It's exciting because he, it's something that he's passionate about and able to share. It's like saved us so much time. So thank you, Steve, so much for, for doing that for us. We really appreciate it. What city are you passionate about? Feel free to share all of your tips from that certain part of the world. Uh, we would be happy to, to check them out. And we're off. Bye-bye, land.
So we switched rooms, which is amazing. We went in, it smells so good. So I just have to grab our stuff from our room um, and then take it to our new room. This room smells like a hundred times better. It's awesome. Um, and now I have another problem and it's making me sick to my stomach. I realized that I booked the ferry from Finland to Estonia the same day that we are going from St. Petersburg to Finland. And I also booked a hotel that same night in Estonia. I was able to fix the ferry ride. I didn't pay like the extra $3 to do a free cancellation on Expedia. We can't get a hold of the hotel in Tallinn to switch the dates. And so we're trying to get hold of Expedia instead. And hopefully that works. The hotel was $50 but it's still $50 on the tube if we can't get that. And that just makes me really upset because I do not like wasting money <laughs> at all. Our breakfast on the boat and we're about an hour and a half away from landing. Um, landing? Boarding? An hour and a half from port. Going to Helsinki. I thought we were two and a half and Peter goes, oh, it's 10 o'clock. I was like, no, it's not, it's nine. He's like, no, it's 10. I was like, oh yeah, we changed showers again. I guess we won't count it until we get on shore next time, huh? We come back? Yeah. We're just gonna go into the terminal for like three hours just to get some Wi-Fi. So right outside the border control, we were able to get really good Wi-Fi right here. So we are not actually technically in Finland. I don't know where we are. We're at a port. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Expedia. So I was on the phone for like 25 minutes um, with Expedia and they were able to change our hotel uh, without in incurring any extra fees. Total cost for my mistakes was like five euro to get the ferry changed but just all the time and hassle so oh my goodness but I'm so glad it's changed and I'm definitely going to like double check dates now before I book anything like that. We both worked until our computers both died and there wasn't an outlet so we had to go back to our room to get power. But I realized yesterday I really didn't talk about um, how we got this cruise and why we're taking a cruise instead of flying to Russia. So for Russia, you always need a visa. So there's one exception to that, and that's if you arrive and depart by boat. Now most people do cruises, um, but the cruises were quite expensive that we were looking at. And then we found the St. Peter Line Ferry. You can go for 72 hours visa free, and it was just easier for us to do this this way. This is hilarious right now. Uh, we are sitting underneath um, the bunk bed. His computer's up there uh, doing some work, and he said, Can I hang out with you <laughs> while my computer's working? I said, Sure. Sitting on the bed, eating some chips, having some junk food. It's a very relaxing afternoon. It's super comfortable. Slept well in the bed, did you? Yeah. It actually fits me. But chilly. <laughs> what? Is it dirt? Like green? That is a lot of back and forth. On the boat, it's pretty nice. Just my flip flops, and as we like walk around, my feet are free. It's great. 